Somehow as a species, we continue to regress backwards more and more as the years go on. It started all the way back in like 2015 where the rise of the social justice warrior began. People being terminally offended by anything and everything, leading to a culture of trying to ruin people's lives over anything that can be dug up on someone. Even if the dirt that gets dug up dates back over a decade, you are essentially one internet crybaby away from having no job, no income, living on the streets, just because you made some edgy joke back when you were 13 on Twitter. And I really wish I was exaggerating, but we've seen situations just like that. Well, the newest outrage that has people shitting themselves revolves around teabagging. You know, that thing that has been around since early Halo days, something that is just a part of gaming culture at this point. Uh, it, it's to the point that games have literally encouraged and even awarded players for dropping their virtual nut sacks in the defeated player's mouth. Heck, I didn't even know this until very recently, but uh, a game called Splitgate, no joke, has a game mode where you have to confirm your kills by teabagging the enemy players that you kill. Now, I don't know about you, but that's pretty sick, and I would probably check out the game just because of that, because it sounds fucking hilarious. But people have been trying to literally associate teabagging in video games with real-life sexual assault. And this is why we really should just face some mass extinction. There is truly no hope left for humanity at this point. And this discussion has really came to a head when an Apex Legends tournament hoster tried to disqualify a teammate and his entire team over teabagging. And you want to know the worst part? He teabagged his own teammate! It wasn't even an enemy player that he dropped his balls on. It was his own teammate, bro. And the caster's response was throwing a little hissy fit live on stream and molding about how he wants to create a safe space. Yo, okay, Dilly is, um, Crazy Penguins is disqualified. I'm not taking that at all. Oh, he went over to uh, the dead body that they just killed and he went teabagged on the death box. Yeah, so we're here to create a safe space for all gamers, everybody, and that kind of stuff will not be tolerated. Doesn't matter, folks. Like, when you're in a tournament, you're in a professional tournament. You can't be doing it that. And something people need to really understand. Yeah, so, like, you can't do that. Just like I'm telling you, you're going to tell me teabagging my own teammate is toxic. All right, so then this is where we're going to shut the lobby down at this point because I'm not going to get into that one because absolutely it is. Just because you can hide behind this and get to use this little thing you're not gonna do that in the real world so don't don't do that oh damn i wasn't aware that it was offensive to crouch on a dead player in a game where you're blasting people's bodies full of bullets so you're gonna tell me it's not offensive to walk up behind a player and point blank unload buckshot in the back of a player's head but smashing the crouch key over your polygons, oh god, the horror! And the organization that hosted this particular tournament was Fate Legion. And what a fucking joke these clowns are. They even had the balls to post a lengthy response on Twitter where they further double down and mauled their decision while acting like the victim because the player and the content creators caused them to get harassed. Oh, boo-hoo. Poor Fate Legion. You precious little things. You want to suck my teats and have a little nap because uh, you seem a little cranky. Seriously, fuck this organization. I think it's time to give them the old artesian build treatment and sink their asses. Don't support these wussies. Oh, and there's the re-roll. But wait, there's more. It somehow gets worse. And this is the real salt in the festering wound that this whole shit show is. The winnings for the tournament were dog shit. The first place team got a whopping $15 per team player for a total of $45 since it was trios. And second place, which the previously disqualified players got after being allowed to continue the tournament, 
they got five dollars per person like i don't know how long of a game it takes in this tournament or how long these players spent preparing for this event but you're telling me winning grants you 15 dollars wow and i thought my job was bad like you can barely afford a combo meal from burger king so i guess thanks fate legion like i guess i can get uh, i don't know a quarter tank of gas actually not even that in these gas prices like this is really just all a joke the people that are getting offended by teabagging are a joke uh, the caster and his organization are straight up clowns and the payouts for this tournament were straight up disrespectful. Like, fuck Fate Legion. Don't support them, let them burn, and afterwards, we can all come together and teabag the ashes of the clown college that they call an organization.